boat to... Da -da -da -da. Morning everyone, I'm Boover, welcome to the video. I am a tarmac tipper driver, currently sat on a job weighing just under 32 ton. Just thought I'd upload some content so that you can see what it's like in the life of a tipper driver. I'm going to show you the truck, show you the sights, show you the plants where we get loaded and anything else that I can along the way. I want to upload these videos because I've spoke to a few people that want to know what it's actually like to drive a truck. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just do a couple of videos and then you can actually see what it's like for yourself. Hello to all the boys that are going to see this that I used to work with. Um, this is a bit of a laugh, talking to a camera. Um, give me a bib when you see me out on the road and I hope you're all doing well yeah so for now that's it I'm gonna get some work done I am gonna show you the truck I'll show you the jobs I'll show you everything that I can and I will see you all in a moment Right then, so, welcome to the inside of my truck. Not sure what the audio is gonna be like and I'm not sure on the angle, but we'll see how we get on. I'll move the angle about every now and then. But for now, this is the inside of my truck. It's where I spend 12 hours-ish of my day, every single day, five and six times a week. Nothing really happens other than driving. I've got a lovely bed for when I'm having my 45 minute breaks or my half an hour. I've got a lovely passenger seat. Uh, it's quite comfy. When you sit over there, you've not got the steering wheel in your way or anything like that. However, it does move out the way quite a bit. Currently sat on a job in Haywood, just behind a school on a construction site. It is ridiculously hot. So, block the sun out with the curtain. Let's just turn that down a bit. Block the sun out with the curtain because it is absolutely boiling. I think it says 26 degrees on my dash. But, well, yeah, that's it. It's just boiling. So, welcome to the inside of my truck. I hope you can hear me all right. And like I said, I'll move the camera angle about and we'll go from there. I'll show you the outside of the truck and I'll carry on from here, showing you the jobs, where I am, where I'm going, where I'm getting loaded from and all the stuff around the truck, the chutes, the body. I am a rigid vehicle and I've got 20 ton of tarmac on the back of my truck and it's absolutely boiling. So it's not only boiling outside, I can feel the heat off the tarmac as well. So it's really, really, really hot. But on that note, welcome to the inside of my truck for the third time-ish, I think. And I will see you again in a moment. Right, so I've just started tipping. There was a wagon before me, so I've been sat there for about an hour and a half ish he's just drove out now so it's my turn i've reversed onto a little bank where i've engaged my pto opened my back door tipped up into the machine the machine's come to me he's now 
took the tarmac away to do whatever he's doing, tarmac, summit, whatever. Um, he's going to come back in a minute and grab some more once he's used what he's used. I think it takes, I don't know, three, four tonne at a time maybe. But it'll be a couple of tips into the machine and then onwards from there. I'm going to stick these out the sunroof, see if we can see anything. I mean, you might not be able to. If it doesn't work, I'll pick a new angle. But with me ever so slightly being parked on a hill, if I put you, so truck level, truck on a hill, yeah. If I put you through the sunroof, my logic is that you might be able to see down the back of the truck. We'll see. Well, I'll stick you through the skylight, sunroof. It's my house, you know, it's where I live. I'll stick you through that now and we'll see how we get on. So, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. Uh, I thought the angle looked alright, to be fair. But, we'll see what happens when I come to upload it. Just finished tipping. Just had to scrape off the back. So, basically, when the door opens, or the time that pours out, it sticks to the back of your truck. If you don't clean it off, the back door won't shut properly. But, managed to scrape it off anyway. I advise buying a scraper, a decent one, not just one that takes wallpaper off or whatever if you're ever going to do this. Um, oh, it's so hot, man. It is so, so hot. I've got time. Just pulling out of the job now. Been here a while. in a minute right so first tip of the day done got as much footage on the job as I could I've just tipped obviously I've rang dispatch and they've told me to go up to Northwich to get another load so I'm gonna head up to Northwich get loaded from up there and then once I get there I'll get back to you Right then, so, just been loaded out of Northwich, only four tonne, six tonne of tarmac, so it's going to be a hand laid job. I'm going over to Haydock, which isn't that far from where I am, it's just what, three junctions up the M6, over to the left slightly, to the actual job itself, it's really not far. Um, didn't really film anything in the plant. There was just loads of people about, you know, kind of bothered with the, um, what you're doing, why have you got your camera out, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, so anyway, didn't film anything in the plant, but I've been loaded. It literally drops from the roof into the back of the truck. I will show you at some point. It's just one of them days. It's really hot. I think people are getting a little bit cranky. It's just, yeah. So today, not worth it. Gonna hit the road, get over to ADOC, 
dump this tarmac and fingers crossed it's home time I'll jump out give you a quick tour of the truck and then get over to ADOC set the shooters up show you what's what from there but other than that that's it see you soon alright so just a quick one there's the truck fast two tipper 12 ton empty probably 18 ton now I'm loaded but this is what I'm driving sorted got me sign in the window I don't know if you can see it is it in the window? it's not really in the window but She's up there, in the back. Right, so, I've just got to the job um, in Haydock. The lads are cracking on now, taking the tar out of the truck in wheelbarrows, doing a bit of a ginnel there at an electrical box. Just want to, uh, whilst I'm on the note, just want to do a bit of a shout out to BGR Surfacing. It's absolutely boiling and I'm sat in my truck. I've got the aircon on. Oh, well, I've just turned it down so I can talk to you. But one of the lads there has just come over and give me two ice pops. Says, mate, I know they melted. Um, not really a lot they can do, but we've had them in buckets to keep them cold. So, yeah, absolute massive shout out to whatever your name is at BGR Surfacing. Absolute legend um, to Mr. Freeze. Well, juices now, but yeah, should have been ice pops, tropical and raspberry. Absolute legend, mate. Good looking out, that. Nice one. Right, so just about finished at Haydock at this job. It was an anlay, so the lads are using the tarmac that's in the back of the truck, dumping it into wheelbarrows. Now, they finished the job. I think I've got about a ton left on my wagon. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it as of yet. I think it may end up going back to what's it doing behind my truck. It may end up going back to Northwich. I'm gonna phone dispatch now and then see what they say. If they say take it back, then it's a drive back down there to tip it off. Or well, find something else to do with it. Basically, dispatch will let me know that anyway. Um, a bit annoying when you've only got a little bit of tarmac left and you know you're doing a driveway because once they've finished the driveway and you've got tarmac left off, there's nowhere to put it. I don't want to say dump it, obviously, but usually you dump it with the lads so that your body's empty for the next job. Well, then if it's not empty for your next job, you've then got a divert to somewhere else to then dump the tarmac where you get told to dump it or whatever and then you know then you can go to your next job but until this is off my truck now I can't really do anything it is 10 to 3 um, yeah 10 to 3 the truck still says it's 34 degrees so with there not being a lot left usually it go cold quite quick, but it's 34 degrees. So I'm hoping that it stays warm, therefore keeping it soft. So when I get to wherever it is that I'm going, open the back door, dump it out, back of my truck's clear. Um, it's 10 to three, like I've just said, twice, I think. So I'm gonna phone dispatch, see what I'm doing with it. Fingers crossed it's a case of take it to the yard and dump it there, but there's only one way to find out, so once I've made the phone call, I'll come back to you and let you know what's what. Right, so I have spoke to right, so basically I've spoke to base. Base have said, Yeah, no worries, mate, it's fine, not a problem. You know, you're in no rush. Take it back down the east lanks and get rid of it at a plant, do it as a return. So there's about a ton on me, 
I'll try and give you a quick show when I get down there. If I can, if I can't, then onwards. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm not far from the East Lanks anyway, but then I've got to drive back towards Manchester from Liverpool side, straight down the East Lanks, and then get rid of the tar that's left on. So I will see you there. Right, so just got back to the East Lanks plant. Just gonna get rid of this um, tarmac, asphalt, waste. And then hopefully it's home time, but we'll see. Cheers, our kid. Right, so as you've just seen, oh. right, so. As you've just seen, I've just tipped the um, tarmac asphalt out of the truck or whatever was left from that previous job. I tipped it out and a little bit got stuck in the back. So as you've seen again, just had to jump in the back. Now, I've not got no high-vis t-shirt or any normal sunglasses, but I've just had to be shoveling, I won't say digging, shoveling, moving, moving the tarmac out of the truck. Because when it sticks to the bed and you tip up, it don't come out all the time. So, in 32 degree heat, wearing a vest and a t shirt and a hoodie and an ARDA and some safety glasses and some gloves and some pants and some boots it takes out of you just a little bit um, usually it doesn't stick if you spray some water in the back fine but I only had four ton for the job and I knew it was gonna go ish cold which it kind of did so a little bit of a push with the shovel and it all come out so now I'm going to phone base, see what I'm doing. Hopefully it's home time because it's 25 to 4. Um, these have got no time at jobs left. So fingers crossed it's home time. If it is, see you back at the yard. If it's not, see you in a minute when we find out where we're going. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so I spoke to base. And they said we're all done for the day, so it's home time. It is, hold on, 25 to 4, it's Wednesday, is it the 14th? I don't know if it's the 14th, it's Wednesday the 14th, I think, of June, you crossing over. Anyway, it's home time, see you back at the yard. Right then, so that's me back at the yard. It's home time. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna pull my taco out and get home and get a lovely shower. I hope everyone's enjoyed the video. I know there wasn't much going on, but we caught a few bits, didn't we? Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope everyone's had a good day. Uh, it's absolutely boiling. What on earth? Adverts. And we don't want that on, do we not? Turn that off. So, yeah, anyway. Hope everyone's had a good day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, I'm not going to say it because it just bores the life out of me, but you know what to do. Um, there will be a second video coming, and then a third, then a fourth, and if you know if we go on we go on but we'll go on anyway sorry about that i think my gopro went off i must have said you know the two words that make it do something to go off it's home time so thanks for watching the video 
I'll see you all again soon.